Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now on this show we do reviews, we look at equipment, we chat to brands, but rarely do we see something truly innovative. Thought you'd seen everything about short bags? Think again. So this is my chalk bag from Black Diamond. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. There's a hole that you put your chalk into, a drawstring that opens and closes it. And basically I've never used anything different. Now the problem with most chalk bags is the hole itself because chalk is very easy to fall out of that hole, especially when you drop it or go upside down. Uh, also, it can be quite tricky when you forget to open it. So I'm sure you've been in that situation, you're mid crux, you're on the red point, you reach back to chalk up and you realize you haven't opened the thing and you get your hand all stuck and then you fall off and your mates laugh at you. This new chalk bag from YMY solves, solves all of those problems. It's got a Magni clip, which is kind of a cool name for magnets basically, opening to the top of it. So it's always open and it's always shut. You simply put your hand in to chalk up and when you take your hand out, it clicks up and closes, keeping all that chalk inside. Now here at the Epic TV office, we like to put things to the test. And of course we are always serious and scientific. So here are three serious, and scientific tests. So here we are at the Epic TV office where we conduct all of our experiments and the first test we're going to do is a speed test. So how quickly can we go from being a closed bag, chalking up both hands and being ready to go on the wall? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, chalk. All right, not bad. Time for the why and why. All right, let's see how the why and why performs. Okay, three, two, one, and chalk. So as you can see, vital seconds saved with the Y and Y. Now obviously this is a bit of a joke, but it does have a practical purpose. It's always open and that means just instant quick access to your chalk without any faff and I hate faff. So speed test done, now let's look at droppability. Let me explain more. So something that happens to me all the time is how much chalk I lose out of my chalk bag. So I'm at the climbing wall, I chalk up, I drop my bag and the chalk falls out and goes everywhere. Or I'm at the crag and the same thing will happen. Or I sit down at the crag and the chalkboard kind of flips over, spilling chalk everywhere. This isn't great for the environment and it's not great for your wallet having to replace all that chalk. So we've got a balcony here at the Epic TV office. So I'm gonna throw these chalk bags off numerous times and see how much chalk is left in them at the end of it. So I'm gonna open up the black diamond chalk bag. The Y and Y one, of course, stays permanently shut and open all at the same time. So I'm gonna drop them five times, see what happens. Okay, we're gonna do the black diamond first. Chalk's away. Okay, so quite a lot of chalk loss, some quite big lumps, but the bag never fell completely upside down, which does sometimes happen. So time's for the Y and Y. Step to the right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so let's have a look at this, uh, the chalk splash ratio. Y and Y first, you can see a few big lumps came out, especially in that initial drop, but generally it stayed pretty closed. Hardly any chalk on the floor, lots of chalk in the bag, so pretty successful from Y and Y. Now, Black Diamond, little bit more of a splash ratio here. You can see uh, the majority of the chalk is collected in the center of the target zone and it has spread out quite a long way really. Um, still obviously quite a lot of chalk left in it and let's be honest here, these things, they're designed pretty well, especially with the weight at the bottom of the bag. When you drop it, it tends to fall like this downwards, especially on a longer drop. It's the shorter ones, especially when you sit down, it just spills out and it's more of a problem, but it did well. Not as well as the Y and Y. I think that's a Y and Y winner right there. So the final test is a usability test. Cause it's all very well lobbing this thing off balconies, but how does it perform when we climb? This is Andrea. 
He is one of our interns here at the Epic TV office at the moment. He's going to be spotting me. Now, sticking with the whole office theme, instead of climbing on rock, I'm going to be climbing on the house. And I've picked, frankly, one of the most dangerous climbs we've got here, the long traverse from Woodstack to driveway. Uh, so let's go with the black diamond first. Let's get climbing. Okay, now we're onto the crux section of this traverse. A very difficult hand over hand, heel on. Of course, you can use the side wall. This is a good time to test. Whoa, it's okay, I'm fine. The black diamond chalking up ability. It's good, it's good, it's strong. Avoiding the light, always difficult this. It's best to cut loose, go around the light, hook back on. It's going well, getting a bit pumped now. Another chalk up opportunity. Great, thanks for that. Uh, so, chalking up, have a blow, heel hook around the corner of course. This is an easier problem if you are taller, as you'll see in a minute. I can't really reach the ground. Drain pipe. It's all good. So the black diamond chalk bag performed well, no chalk lost. Now it's the time of the why and why. Into the campus section. Just coming through here, just making it a bit quicker. I'm gonna go high heel here, so really upside down. No issues. Chalk up the other hand, and busting through now. Second chalk up place. Starting to feel the pump. Need quick access to your chalk bag. Don't wanna faff around with this. To steady the nerves, have a little think about the consequences of blowing this move. So, here we go. Dropping down, using that little foothold, spot the landing. So, three slightly tongue in cheek tests, but it did allow us to see what the why and why is good at and what it's not so good at. So, positives first. I like the idea of a closure system. It, it kind of seems really obvious now, like why did no one do this before? Chalk is a very fine dust-like substance and a big hole in the top means it goes everywhere and I've lost so much chalk over my climbing lifespan. So this would help a lot. Negatives, well, inevitably with any kind of a closure system, you are gonna get a little bit of resistance when putting your hand in. It's not a lot, but it is there and it can be slightly off-putting, especially if you're not used to it. I don't find it too bad, honestly, and to me it's a good compromise between losing your chalk and that grabbing nature of it, but it might put some people off, so that's worth considering when you're going to buy this. Did Y&Y &Y need to invent a magnetic chalk bag? No, of course not, but it is kind of cool that they've done it. I think it's a solution to a problem that does exist, uh, and I like it. One of those Christmas gifts to get the climber who has everything, or if you just want to upgrade your gear a little bit, go for one of these. There's nothing wrong with old chalk bags, they work perfectly exactly the same but this slightly improves a very good design and that's always a good thing within the climbing industry so there you go a little review of the y and y chalk bag and as always please let me know what you think in the comments below now if you decide to buy this for the epic tv shop go onto the website because there are some limited edition options for you i won't tell you what they are so check it out if you want to find out more thanks for watching and i'll see you soon